Hi, Dr. Dave Perna here, your New York City chiropractor, and we're going to talk about Week 8's NFL injury. I consider this the most significant or serious injury so far this season. We're going to talk about it next on this Back and Body video. So as the news reported, Zach Miller had a dislocated knee in a football game yesterday where he almost caught a touchdown pass. The question becomes, how did it become life-threatening where he, he almost lost his lower leg? This is unfortunately a very common effect when you dislocate your knee. If the dislocation is serious enough, there are some very vital uh, arteries and nerves that are behind the knee that can be torn and damaged as a result of a dislocation. To understand their location, we're going to go look at Netter. Okay, this is from Netter. This is an anatomy book. We are looking at the knee from behind. This is the back of the knee. This is that sensitive area behind your knee that often people don't like to have people push up against. The red is the artery, there is a vein, the yellow is a nerve. These are three very vital things that allow blood flow and nerve supply to the lower leg. So you could see if the knee is dislocated backwards or towards the camera, how it would push into and possibly cause a shearing force on the artery and vein. This will compromise blood flow to the lower extremity because as you can see, this is pretty much the only artery or only major artery that goes to the lower extremity. So if this is compromised, blood flow to the lower extremity is compromised. Okay, so you can see how there's some vital uh, tissue behind the knee, like an artery, a vein, and a nerve. Uh, blunt force trauma to the knee can result in a 28 to 46% rate of injury to the popliteal artery. Uh, the delayed diagnosis is the leading cause of amputation of the lower leg. There is, as some studies say, a six to eight hour window to revascularize the lower limb. It's important to understand this doesn't mean you could stay at home and get to the hospital in six hours and hope for the best. It takes hours of surgery to revascularize the leg. So their diagnosis for arterial compromise or blood flow compromise has to happen almost in instantaneously upon realizing there is an injury. Um, there is also a possibility that the injury cannot completely tear the artery but may also cause a clot as a result of an injury that will stretch out or partially tear the layers of the artery and that too can lead to an occlusion that will low, create a lack of blood flow to the lower extremity. So it is advised amongst physicians that there is regular intervals of checking the blood flow to the lower extremity if that is a possibility. Other possibilities of problems that can be experienced with injuries such as Zach Miller's is compartmental syndrome, which basically means there's excessive swelling in the lower extremity once it is revascularized as a result of the trauma. This excessive swelling again compromises blood flow to the lower extremity because there isn't enough blood pressure to go in because there's a lot of blood st stuck in the area. So what they often do is create uh, cuts in the lower leg to open up the fascial tissue to allow the blood to flow better. Possibilities of nerve damage are also uh, uh, on the table as a situation. This happened to Jalen Smith who is now with the Dallas Cowboys as a linebacker. He injured his knee while playing at Notre Dame and was drafted with the understanding that they were going to be patient with him on his road to recovery he still deals with some nerve problems. A dislocated knee is a very serious orthopedic injury that also, as we mentioned, has other effects that can be a problem, such as the artery. Uh, it is very hard to come back from. Napoleon McCallum in 1994 had a dislocated knee, did not return to the NFL. Marcus Lattimore, was uh, drafted in the fourth round by the San Francisco 49ers. He never played, although they tried to rehab him to get to play, he never played in NFL. Uh, an interesting situation of a dislocated knee was rookie Robert Edwards, who played for Buffalo, was playing beach volleyball at the Pro Bowl of all places uh, and dislocated his knee. It was a pretty serious injury and made, I believe, the, the NFL and the Pro Bowl 
uh, rethink their strategies and games played outside of the actual football game during the Pro Bowl. Uh, he did have a brief stint in the NFL in 2002. So as you can see, this injury is very serious. Often uh, several ligaments are damaged as a result of the dislocation. Now again, as always mentioned in the last few videos when we talk about NFL injuries, I am not the doctor for Zach Miller or treat Zach Miller. I'm a chiropractor who often treats people with sports injuries and I just figure this information is good to educate people and understand human anatomy and the seriousness of some of these NFL injuries that, that we're dealing with. For information such as this, please visit our website, backandbodyny.com if you're in the New York City area. If you're in New Jersey, backandbodynj.com. Of course, you can always click, click like on our Facebook pages where we'll post videos like this often. Next week, week nine, we'll post uh, an injury for the NFL also. We'll see you soon.